It's my feel good breakfast show. Yep, the smile probably gives it away. It is a special one this morning. We have one for the books. The remarkable journey of a rugby star who we love, Vili LaRue, and a gut health specialist that stole his heart, a chef, Holly LaRue. They have tied the knot. And from Vili's dazzling career in rugby to Holly's pioneering culinary endeavours alongside their recent wedding, we get to uncover the captivating story of this dynamic couple who we love so much. Can we get a massive round of applause? for Billy and Holly for just waking up and being here this early. Thank you so much. I'm sure in the post-honeymoon glow, you just want to chill. Yeah. Um, we appreciate you guys being here so much. Thank you, man. Oh, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And congratulations yeah. on your nuptials. That's very exciting. Yeah. Um, Holly, I'm going to start off for you. What was, yeah. what was the highlight of the day for you? Um... I mean, I think it was very special. There were so many, but I think <laughs> Billy and I actually wrote our own vows, which is a big moment. Um, I think Billy doesn't really like public speaking so much. So, yeah, and I even said a little bit in Afrikaans. So, yeah, Ooh, okay. that was nice. <laughs> special, yeah. Um, I know it's, it's an emotional kind of whirlwind. Do you remember the wedding? Are there just moments that kind of pop out? How are you feeling now that you've kind of come back down to earth? Yeah, no, definitely there's moments. It's the family and friends all the time, everywhere. Um, then the band start playing late that night. I think that's what everyone was waiting for. <laughs> they, let go. they just wanted yeah. to let the speeches get out of the way and, uh, and those things. And then everyone just wanted to take their ties off and, and have a good time. <laughs> so I think that's, that's what I remember the most is uh, when the band started playing, the dance floor was full and busy and we were all just having a lacquer jaw. Oh, it's oh, lacquer. Those photos look incredible. Exquisite. Oh my goodness, exquisite. I actually wanted to ask you this, Holly, because yeah. I got married at the end of last year and I feel like yes. every groom makes a couple of suggestions. Yeah. And then you veto it. <laughs> or they're not a fan of something you suggest and you veto their no. Yeah. Was there anything? <laughs> um, well, I mean, we literally planned this wedding through a World Cup. So we very much separated and I was like, you do you and I'm going to do me. So we had to kind of tag team out. So mm. I definitely was um, front runner with the wedding planning <laughs> um, and really front runner at the World Cup. So, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was good, yeah. How do you split your mind like that? Were you able to separate wedding and rugby during that time? or were, how, how did your anxiety handle that period of your life? <laughs> <laughs> no, there was, uh, at that time, we, we, we said uh, the main job now is, is the World Cup. Um, that's the number one prize goal for us for South Africa back home. And, and that where all my focus was, Holly was there supporting and everything she could do to help me off the field. Um, and then I knew when we were going to get back home, I'm going to start getting, OK, Willie, you have to do this. You have to organize this. You have to plan this. So, yeah, no, a, a big a list, to-do to list. Um, but yeah, so during that uh, World Cup period of time, there was there was no chat about uh, about getting married and stuff like that. We were solely focused on our, on our goal and our job for, for the Springboks. As we could see, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As we could see. Oh, well, you just came back from your honeymoon. Do you miss being in that honeymoon bubble now it's back to reality? Or are you ready to hit the ground running as it's the start of the new year? Well, I feel like honeymoon period is like a real thing. I think when you start dating someone, they say, oh, you're in honeymoon period. Then you actually get to honeymoon period. It's a real thing. It's amazing. I feel yeah. like you just kind of obsessed with each other and just want to live in each other's shoes. Like, it's just really lovely. Oh. So, but yeah, it's taken, I think this week has felt a bit funny. I felt like really lost. Like, okay, <laughs> yeah, I'm not planning a wedding yeah. and not speaking to my wedding planner every day. Like, what do I do? <laughs> oh. yeah. well, where did you go? What was the honeymoon like? Yeah. Reveal. We went to Mauritius. Yeah. It was our first time there. We've both never been. Mm. We're both serious water babies. So lots of swimming with dolphins, turtles. Mm. Um, Billy even got stung by a jellyfish. Oh, goodness. <laughs> That's <one> yeah, <laughs> no, that wasn't fun. You do yeah. know the antidote to being stung with a jellyfish, well, right? Yes. We were taught, we know that. That's love. That's <laughs> real love. We okay. don't do that. Right? <laughs> we're actually taught that rum is the cure okay. from the Mauritians. So. Okay. Yeah, they don't believe the South African way of doing <laughs> it. I, I have a feeling someone just tricked someone once and yeah. then they love the joke and they just yeah. carry, the, carry that yeah. on. You guys get to look forward now in a slightly different way. I think you've been very supportive of each other throughout this period. So that's obviously not going to change. Mm. Now you're a team and you get to focus on your careers. 
yeah. as a team? Does it feel different in that respect? Maybe from a, from a rugby perspective, are you looking at where you're going and how you are kind of setting yourself up slightly differently now that you're married? Or does it feel like this is just a continuation of, of where you've been going? Yeah, no, definitely. Um, obviously, we've been a team for the last six years. Um, but now, obviously, we're married, so you're a stronger team, or yeah. It's on um, paper. Yeah, it's on paper. <laughs> so, yeah, now I think you have to think a lot more before you make decisions in rugby because it's so, rugby is so highs and lows and ups and downs. And today you're in uh, South Africa, tomorrow you're in Japan, or you're all over the world. So it gets, it tends to get tough. Um, like that, you have to support each other no matter what. And then I think when, when I'm going to make decisions about where I would be going next in the next few years, if I had to go somewhere else, then we would have to sit down and talk about that where earlier I think I might have told Ollie, listen, this is the I'm plan. on my yeah. way to Japan now, if you want to come with, come along. And uh, yeah, so this, yeah, we have to set out that the plans and, and talk about it. I think uh, that's that's where we, we will be at. Yeah. So, so if he comes home speaking Japanese, just yeah. very coyly, just, you know, just pick up the hint, just yeah. pick up the hint. Yeah. But it's all very exciting. The, the, the unknown is extremely exciting. Yeah. Um, I know there are quite a few couples in my circle of friends getting married. Perhaps, Holly, from your perspective, any advice if there's perhaps something you wish you'd done differently around the planning process or now that you look in hindsight what you would have, you know, maybe encouraged girls to enjoy more at their wedding, yeah. what would you say to them? I think I think the best decision we both made was hiring our wedding planner, Shan Lavender. She's absolutely phenomenal and every single crazy request I threw at her, she absolutely smashed it. So she was great. and. Hire a very good photographer and do an engagement shoot. Mm. I think we both are not completely comfortable around photographs and doing like photographs together. <laughs> so having that exposure like together and building that bond, especially with your photographer, that's like a key takeout definitely mm. for weddings. Because yeah. it does matter, and you yeah. do go back, and now you and you'll have thousands. I've thousands from my yeah. wedding. I got married um, less than a year ago, and it's. And Vili, really, maybe I can put it to you like this, because there, there were so many moments during that wedding journey where I was looking back over my life. Like, that's just such a big thing. Yeah. What did, did you think about at the beginning? Did you have a moment to think about the, the World Cup, think about these achievements? What, what kind of jumped out in that, that space for you, man? Yeah, so like, I, like you say, it's an it's a emotional, it's a emotional um, thing, the getting married and stuff. And when, when Holly came down with a car and she walked in there, it's, it's a different emotion. I, would, I was trying to think of where am I going to put myself on a rugby field in front of 80,000 people and singing the national anthem and the, like I'm going to try and compare things like that. But it's, it's totally different. You, it's hard to do. You can't. It's just a, it's just a special occasion and uh, yeah, something that, you, that you're not going to do again. So yeah, just on a surreal feeling. Um, um, the day like went like so fast, like I said, we couldn't yeah, I didn't think I said hello to everyone at the wedding. Oh, that's how quick it went. So yeah. that's that's a sad part. You can't get to everyone. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, but they would have felt it, man. They would have felt Definitely. it. Definitely. Were you as nervous proposing as you were perhaps oh. leading up to a big <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it was actually proposing was it was it was nervous. Um, I think when like compared to the rugby, if you on a rugby field, when you, everyone is like, don't you get nervous playing in front of eighty thousand people? But it's my job and it's my. You know work. what you got to do, yeah. yeah. And as soon as you, you might be nervous before the game, which is always a good thing. Um, and then when you get onto the field, it's completely forget about it, and it's, you've got a job to do, and you focus on your job. Um, so, yeah, I was a bit out of my comfort zone <laughs> proposing and stuff. I got nervous, um, so but it's part of it. I absolutely love the fact that you have a moment now to take stock after what must have been the craziest mm. couple of years. Mm. I've got to ask you, because if I, being as emotionally invested as I am, just as a normal <laughs> South African, what was it like for you to have a front row seat to the last few months of this journey well to be in it to be in the coal face yeah. how did you survive how was your anxiety doing um, after the last few yeah, months it's I've, i mean we've been we've been in this for six years so we're very good at communicating with one another and when one of us is high then the other one is low and you kind of just have to balance yeah, that great. out um and i think within rugby you have to choose a partner that's very good at adapting to change um, so I think I've mastered that. Um, I've always been excited for change, like moving countries, or we've got a World Cup, or we're moving to a new hotel. Like it's hectic, it's busy, but it is exciting. And I think choosing that right partner 
makes you not feel anxious. You're you just like, embrace. it's okay, we've got it. Yeah, yeah. you have to yeah. embrace it. Definitely. Yeah. Oh, well, we're so excited that both of you get to hang out with us today. We're going to play a couple of games. We're going to be in the kitchen <laughs> because I know you are the specialist there. <laughs> so have some fun with us today. If you perhaps have any questions for Vili or Holly, you're welcome to let us know on social media. It is our good morning post today. Perhaps send a voice note. Our number is 063-408-8863. We'll be getting those answers to your questions. It's my feel good breakfast show. Welcome back, you beauties. Yes, we have been buzzing this morning. Why? Because we are spending the morning with newlyweds. Uh, if it sounds good to us, I'm sure they love the sound of that. Vili LaRue and Holly LaRue from Vili's uh, Rugby Endeavours to Holly's Culinary Pursuits. Join us as we cover, uh, uncover a little bit more about their dynamic journey and what lays ahead. Because you've got to think about these things when you form a family and you start that focus. Thank you so much for sticking around, guys. Really, really love having you here. Oh, I feel like we need to, I don't want to say throw them in the deep end, but we did pose quite a few <laughs> I think questions. we've done that a few times, so maybe just follow on that course. Yeah. people to ask questions and we actually got one on social media so let's see what came through our first question came through from Ragzak that says Vili has to be the most passionate springbok of all time he runs up after the springboks wins a penalty can you ask him what he says to keep the guys pumped I love that. Yeah, obviously that's uh, in the moment thing. Uh, just passionate, like he says. <laughs> I think we all are passionate. Even I'm passionate out the box playing for them. So yeah, I just obviously run up and uh, try to look for opportunity first of all, and then just congratulate the guy that did something. Just encourage him, and then then it's just next job, uh, next job mentality at the spring box. So that's just that's just the things that goes through my head, and that I just contribute to the guys and shout from the back because I'm obviously at the back seeing everything <laughs> so I can just shout at them and uh, yeah, just it's mostly just next job mentality. There is nothing more beautiful than seeing a fullback run up to pat a hooker or a prop on the bum for a scrum penalty. I'm sorry, there, that is the beauty of rugby right there because we understand what it matters, uh, uh, how much it matters. I'm going to say this to both of you because I don't know when next I'll get this chance, but thank you. Aww. Thank you for what you've done over this, not just the last kind of, you know, season of your life, but everything that you've devoted to this game. As someone, check now the goosebumps are coming. But from someone who lives that with my, my six-year-old son who wakes up to watch these matches, to be there, it is awe-inspiring. Mm. Billy, maybe I can put it to you. How do you see that role? Because we love making you a statesman. We love making you the guy who's got to lead the country, but you've just got to go and play rugby yeah. how have you been able to kind of walk that path because you said it yourself you're the guy who's just got to go in fit in make a plan make it happen often when the chips are down and it doesn't feel like we've got a plan to be made how do you see your role in that team no, obviously I'm a bit on the older side currently, um, so there's a lot <laughs> he of... He says with a sigh. <laughs> yeah, there's uh, like, it's, it's, it's uh, at the World Cup, I was a 34-year-old running with 21-year-olds, um, so that's a, that's a 30... I think Dion would have something to say, eh? Uh, Dion, has got, Dion has got a few years on me, but uh, he's not in the backs and has to sprint with a, with a youngster, so it's a, it's a bit of a different ball game there. So you, you're starting to know your body, you learn yourself, you know what works for you recovery-wise, you... You can't, uh, it, the most important thing is always to play on the weekend. Um, obviously you have to put in the work during the week, uh, which is important, but it's different for certain players and uh, age-wise. And like I can say it like that, like a 20 year old, would, they would do everything and run 120% <laughs> everywhere. And, but the older guys born in the eighties, I would say we, we are, we're a bit more clever. We, we pace ourselves and, uh, and we know on, on the weekend you've got a job to do. So uh, that's the most important thing is to go out there and then obviously do your job. Um, yeah, and then just my role in the team is uh, I, if I can guide where I can, help youngsters coming through, um, obviously that's nice because I had that when I was I joined sure. the Springboks. And uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm relishing that role and uh, I'll, I'll, I'll do my best to play as long as I can. I don't know how long that would still be, but for me, it's just about enjoying myself and yeah, being out there. You're not, we're not going to let you go, dude. So <laughs> let's just let's just get that straight. Yeah. I mean, Holly, you are extremely dynamic. I mean, you you I enjoyed being in the kitchen with you because you're a gut health specialist yeah. and you love and understand, you know, how food and the body reacts. But how do you personally answer the hundreds of DMs that come through yeah. between consultations and recipe development, and even just prioritizing your own personal interests? For how sure. do you manage to? 
to do it all? Yeah, I think it's very important for me to answer everyone individually because when I was going through gut health issues, I never had that person. Okay. So I think it's really important that people know that you have a space, safe space to for discuss sure. those things. Like, I won't get a million comments on a picture, but I get the inbox messages because it's really private. Gut health stuff is a struggle and it's really private. So helping people, that's amazing for me. Um, but balancing it is busy. It's really busy. I think we both are really supportive of each other's careers and we try and sort of make time for both of them. I mean, when I was at chef school, we did nine months long distance. Sure. So that was pretty intense. He was in Japan, so time zones, he was sleeping, I was awake. Mm. And we're both just very busy, but we are 100% supportive of each other's careers, so. And that yeah. kind of, that's when you prove it. You, you get yeah. it done because you have to get it done. And then I think yeah. that's been the big shift for, for certainly me and my wife is this kind of team mentality. Mm -hmm. It was a button was pushed that, yeah. that I was able to see a, maybe a longer arc than, yeah. than I have been able to in the past. And I'm sure for a rugby player, you don't see 20 years, 30 years. You're thinking about next season. Mm -hmm. You're thinking about the next team that you've got to slot into. And of course, you're slotting beautifully into a team mm -hmm. right now. Was Did that conversation change when you when you set up to, to get in at the pools and kind of look at this next phase? Were you quite clear about, okay, this is what I need. This is what I want. This is where I'm going. Or how did how did that kind of relationship form? Yeah, no, I was I'm just very fortunate that I got opportunity to come come play back in South Africa and uh, and the Bulls gave me that chance to come um, and I, I can't thank them uh, the Bulls Vodacom Bulls and Jake enough for the opportunity they gave me. Um, there's a lot of youngsters in the team as well, and a lot of Dynamic. exciting, a lot of exciting guys coming through and playing unbelievable rugby. And uh, just to, to do my part and help where I can, there, if I'm playing or if I'm if I'm on the bench or if I'm not even in the 23, but just helping preparing the team, because I think that's what the uh, people mostly forget is the the guys preparing the team that's playing on the weekend. They are just as important because sure. the pictures those guys paint for you during the week is if you've seen it. 50 times during the week um, and then you see it on, on the field on the weekend. It's like you've you've seen this picture before. It's played over and over in just your head. Clicks, yeah. Just clicks. So yeah, no, um, yeah, I'm, I'm here and enjoying it. And obviously uh, a big uh, North-South Derby next next weekend at Loftus. <laughs> so, uh, I think everyone is uh, very excited for that game. And uh, yes, we all are. I'm, I'm just thinking about a URC final, but you think you're just going to chill this season, dude. <laughs> just strap yourself in, buddy. Just strap yourself in. Oh, well, it's been amazing having you both here. Enjoy the honeymoon bubble. Enjoy this phase and, and all the exciting things that's to come. I know there's a lot of unknowns, and I think that's mm. the exciting part, especially given that both of you are so ambitious yeah. and so supportive of one another's dreams and goals. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having us, guys. Yes. Oh. Love you guys, man. <laughs> oh, the joy of our job. And I think um, for me, why it is so vital that we do express gratitude because you've been in that front row with us as we watched this journey play out. You can hear the, the trumpets or vuvuzelas are already calling out to the skies. Um, but what an absolute gem to have these two in studio this morning. So keep the questions coming. Keep the love pouring out. They do answer DMs. We have proven <laughs> that in both cases, but an absolutely wonderful opportunity. And of course, the, the show ain't done and dusted yet.